Hello students, welcome to MS classes. Today we will solve ISC 2020 maths paper. So I'll solve question 1, all 10 parts of section A in this video. So let's start with the first part. Determine whether the binary operation on R defined by A into B that is mod of A minus B is commutative. Also find the value of minus 3 into 2. So According to the question, a into b is mod of a minus b. So to prove it commutative, b into a, that is b minus a, and the mod of b minus a is equal to mod of a minus b as we know, and that is equal to a into b. Therefore, we can say that it is commutative. And for the second part, minus 3 on 2, that is minus 3 minus 2, which is minus 5, and the mod of minus 5 is 5. So 5 is the correct answer. In part, prove that, 10 square secant inverse 2 plus cot square cosecant inverse 3 is 11. So left hand side, let's suppose secant inverse 2 is theta and cosecant inverse 3 is alpha. So that secant theta is 2 and cosec alpha is 3. So if you put these values here, you get 10 square theta plus cot square alpha. And you know 10 square theta is secant square theta minus 1 and cot square alpha is cosec square alpha minus 1. And if you put the value of secant theta and cosecant alpha in this, you get 11, which is our right hand side, hence proved. Question third, without expanding at any stage, find the value of this determinant. So here, as you can see from the first column, we can take 20 out. And if you apply the operation on the second column as C2 is equal to C2 plus C3, you get a plus b plus c so that a plus b plus c can also be taken out from the second column and you get two identical column and the determinant of it will be zero by property so the answer is zero fourth part we have to solve for x so here after multiplying these two matrices and equating it with the second matrix you will find that x is equal to 13 find dy by dx if x cube plus y cube is 3a xy. So here if you differentiate on both sides, we get 3x square plus 3y square dy by dx, 3a x dy by dx plus y. So that 3, 3 can be cancelled out. And after simplifying it, we get dy by dx as x square minus ay upon ax minus y square. Sixth part, the edge of the variable cube is increasing at the rate of 10 centimeter per second. How fast is the volume of cube increasing when the edge is 5 cm long? So let the edge be x, so that dx by dt is given 10 cm per second. We have to find dv by dt at x is equal to 5 cm. Now as we know volume of a cube is x cube, so that dv by dt is 3x square dx by dt. So at x is equal to 5 and dx by dt 10, we get 750 cm cube per second. Seventh part, evaluate this. So as the interval is from 4 to 5, so in this interval that mod of x minus 5 is minus of x minus 5 dx. So if you integrate that and if you substitute the values, you get half. So the answer is 1 by 2. Eighth part, form a differential equation of the family of the curves y square is 4ax. So here we have a arbitrary constant, so our motto is to eliminate it. So I have taken x in the denominator so that if you differentiate it, and apply the quotient rule, you get this, that is equal to the differentiation of 4a, which is 0. So if you take x square to that side, and if you simplify it, you get 2x dy by dx is equal to y. A bag contains 5 white, 7 red, and 4 black poles. If 4 poles are drawn one by one with replacement, what is the probability that none is white? As the balls are drawn with replacement, each trail is independent. So the probability of drawing no white ball is 11 upon 16 to the power 4. Let A and B be two events such that probability of A is half, probability of B is P, and A union B is 3 by 5. Find P if A and B are independent events. Since A and B are independent events, so PA intersection B is PA into PB. So since the values of all is given to us, so after putting the value, we get P as 1 by 5. So I hope the solution of all the 10 parts of question A are clear to you. In case if you have any doubt, please comment in my comment section. I'll make another video containing question 2 to question 10. Thank you.